Hi. Lord Jesus, help me. Lord Jesus, help me with this video. I want to say this message is for the body of Christ. And maybe for everyone in general. You know, the most important thing a Christian can, a Christian can, the most important thing a Christian needs to be is, needs to be love. If you read in the first book of 1 Corinthians, in chapter 13, it talks about how we're supposed to be, how you can have, you can have your body burned as a martyr for, for the Lord. For the Lord, and in, and you can ha cast out demons and you speak in tongues, but if you have no, but if you don't have love, you're nothing. Well, you have nothing actually, but you're nothing but a religious clanging symbol. I'm a Jesus says, Jesus tells us the greatest commandment is to love our neighbor as ourself. Love our neighbors as ourself. Well, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and thy mind. This is the first great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love is the fulfillment of the law. So, it doesn't matter if you go around exposing people, if you're exposing people and you're not doing, and you're doing it out of wrong motives, just to gain popularity, or just to be, or if the, if the Lord, let me say this, if the Lord didn't tell you to go and expose people, you're an error in, in gossiping. That's one thing. We need to be loving our neighbors. So, um, I want to make this point across, uh, okay. but anyway, aside from that, aside from that point, you know, love is the most important aspect of a Christian, of the, of the Christian walk. As it say, as it say in the Bible, we're called, to, we are, we're saved by, we're, we're saved by grace, but through God's love, through God's love, I mean, Saved by faith through grace. Grace through faith. Because of God's mercy and love. God loves us. God loves us all. And he wants us all to be saved. He doesn't want anyone to perish. So we should treat our brothers and sisters the same way. We shouldn't be slandering and gossiping about them. You know. If you love your neighbor. You want to sleep You want to sleep with them. Outside of marriage. You would You would be married to that person. And have, and have sexual relations inside of marriage. Because, you know, the Bible says that, that the adulterers and adulteresses and the fornicators will be, will, will be, will not inherit the kingdom of God. They simply put, they will not inherit the kingdom of God. There's a lot of people in this world that claim to be Christians. They call themselves Christians. They follow the, they, they claim to follow this book, this book, the Holy Bible. And yet... And yet they're hypocr hypocrites. They're they're absolute hypocrites because they're they're taking the name of Jesus and running his name in the mud, being prostitutes to to other people toward to their idols like their pornography and stuff. Um, you know it's really important to. It's really important that. You love your neighbor. Because love is the fulfillment of the law. You can back this all up by the scriptures, what I'm saying. Let me ask you, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. You can you can preach the gospel all you want to. You can preach the gospel all you want to and end up in hell. Because you didn't... Because you, or you can preach the gospel and not have love in your heart. 
you know, and, and I say to the, and I say this: if you're gonna preach it, if you're gonna preach, you know, have love in your heart, don't preach at all. Don't minister. Season. Jesus wants us. Jesus wants us to have fellowship. Well, no, he wants our. He wants us to be seasoned with salt, and light, and love. He wants Christians to be seasoned with love and salt. I mean, a lot of people think. Let me say this. A lot of people think that just because they're a good person, they don't believe in God. Most people, most people today don't believe in God. They, they don't go to church. They don't read the Bible. They don't believe in Jesus. You know, they, don't have, they don't have a relationship with Jesus. And yet they think they're a good person and they expect to go to heaven one day. I'm sorry, but you're not going to go to heaven by being a good person. It's like, it's like going to someone's house and saying, hey... I want to come in because uh, you, uh, I, I, I am a good person. They won't let you in. You don't know the. They don't know you. And in the worst case scenario, they probably pull. They might pull a gun on you and say, "Call, they'll call you crazy, get out of here." Or they will call the cops on you and say, "This, this person is trying to rob my house, and this person claims to know me." But I don't know them. Uh, he says he's a good person. Uh, Jesus is not gonna. Jesus is not gonna let you into heaven. God's not gonna let you into heaven, just by being because you're a good person. Um, so yeah, a relationship to God is the most important aspect of, of someone's life, but loving people is what we need to be, to be. especially as, as followers of Christ. Um, so yeah. <sighs> you know, you could... L but you know what? We're brethren. I'm gonna read something. I'm gonna read first. I'm gonna read First Corinthians thirteen. I'm gonna read out of the King James. I read out of the King James, so bear with me. And I'll read verse one and two. No, oh, actually, no. It says here, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity or love, charity, old version, old word of love, I have. I am become as a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. So in other words, if you are, if you are, in other words, you can have the, you can speak in tongues. Okay, let me see here. Okay, let's go on. And though I hate, and though I, verse two, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, mountains, and have not charity, I am nothing. I am nothing. And though I bestowed all my goods to feed the poor, and though I gave my body to be burned, and not charity, it profits me nothing. So right there, Paul's saying that unless you love, unless you have love and charity in your service, in your in your religion, you're nothing. You're really nothing at all. You know, the book of James says, "Be be doers of the words, not hearers only." Well, we could be doers of the word. Well, however, we could be doers of the word and and not have love in our hearts. So, and you can have all the gifts. Of, you can have all the gifts. Of the, you can be a pastor. You can be anybody. You can go to church and proclaim and walk in the fivefold gifts ministry, gifts of the ministry. And still be, still stand for Jesus and hear him say, "Depart from me, I never knew you." And you will, and you will very well just hear that those words. Many of you are going to hear those words. In fact, are because some of you have 
been taught that all you need is that all you need is to believe in God. Well, I mean, all you need to do is say a sinner's prayer, or that you just need to believe in God. And he will let you into His kingdom. Well, you know the book. The book of James says that the book of James says that um, that the devils believe in God and they see Him and they tremble at His presence. We don't. We don't even fear him at all. Often time, most people in the world they don't, they they don't really fear God at all. So, I don't know what to call this video. I might just call it the, the video. The, the title of this video might just be uh, um. Love is love is the greatest gift. You know what? Actually, yeah, that that works. Love is the greatest gift, uh, because that's what the Bible says too. First Corinthians above above the chapter thirteen of First Corinthians. So we need to learn to love others. We need to learn to love ourselves. Most importantly, we need to learn to love God, the most. I love you all. Thank you for watching this video. God bless.